right. Um, welcome to our community extras, and uh, just thank you guys for praying as we are in this Lent season heading up to Easter. And we do believe prayer is really powerful, and um, even just taking time together as a group and praying for Easter, praying for uh, people in your lives that don't know about Jesus, that maybe you would have the courage to invite them. And uh, let's see what God will do as we celebrate the resurrection on um Easter morning together as a church. This week we saw a really heavy text as God floods humanity. We saw uh, Noah and his faithfulness. He, at every turn at this point, is doing what the Lord has for him. Um, We see that the rest of mankind is wicked and only wicked continually. It's not like God's judgment here is unjust. Uh, It's not over the top. It's an exact right judgment on human sin. Um, the, The world is dark, and as a response... God destroys the entire world, and we see a picture of God in his wrath against sin. We see the the truth that sin does cause death, in spite of what Satan said in the garden, you surely won't die. We see the wages of sin as death. Where in your world do you see Christians who don't understand this doctrine, who almost treat God like he's a college roommate or a buddy who just kind of chuckles at their sin or, or finds their sin humorous? But, at, but fails to step back and say, no, 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 God, you're holy. Um, God is a holy God who has a just wrath against sin and a just judgment for sin. It's part of what makes God so good. At the same point, we also see God provide salvation through Noah, through the ark. Um, he allows his plan to go forward. And ultimately, we know as Christians that God provides his ultimate salvation through his son, Jesus. And I love how Peter is talking about, hey, as Christians, let's not get lazy. Let's not forget. Or uh, as people in the world, let's not forget that God will one day return. There will be this ultimate end times judgment where people either are sentenced to heaven or sentenced to hell forever, and and God will make a just judgment in that moment. And yet before that end times judgment, the language is that God is waiting. Um, God is waiting the hopes that more and more and more would come to know him. Um, To be a Christian that has the heart of God is to be hoping and laboring that more and more and more people would come to know God. God's not waiting for anything else. He's not waiting for certain events to come into place. He's waiting for more people to come to know him. And so if we have the heart of God, let's think creatively about what it could look like as a group this season to say, how are we living with the heart of God that more people would come to know him before his judgment? Hope you guys have a great discussion and look forward to seeing how it goes.